Hi, and welcome to another video on Image R. Today we'll explain to you the main buttons of Image R in detail. Let's go. First of all, we use the Image R paid version, so we can also show you all particularities for paid users. If you asked yourself why the page in the video looks so much cleaner, it's because we use the paid version. Okay, let's go. Number 1. Upload. As the name says, Upload is used for importing your images into ImageR. You can upload JPEG, PNG, and BMP files. Since it's important to have the image in grayscale for laser engraving, your image will automatically be converted on upload. Number 2. Crop. Crop is used to remove useless areas from your image. You can also round the corners and activate square crop. If you activate Square Crop and change the Round Edges slider to Max, it will create a circle. Number 3. Resize. This step is really important. Resizing an image will prevent long loading times and timeout errors. Choosing the measurement you're familiar with, for me, it is millimeters. Make sure to choose the right size for your engraving because it is not possible to resize the image after image R. Means, if you have a 100 by 100 millimeter tile, the image has to be 100 by 100 after image R. Resizing an already prepared image, for example, in Lightburn will mess up the dithering pattern and destroy the output. Number 4. Add text. Make your images more personalized by adding text to them. Do not use special signs like an ASCII heart. It will show correctly in the input of the text, but it will show a square after adding it. Let me show you. You can change the color, make a border, change the font, size, and many more. Number 5. Materials. The heart of image are our unique algorithms. We will show the differences in detail in another video. Basically, you can choose here your favorite algorithm and material. Your image will be processed then by your choices. Also, as soon as you have applied as paid user a material, it will show you the button called Preview with Material. You can see here your image on the material you choose. On wood, for example, you can also switch between different wood types. Number 6. Download. Download your prepared image in PNG, JPG, or BMP. We recommend to use PNG since there's no significant difference in quality to BMP, but the file is way smaller and can be processed easier by the controller of your laser, which prevents memory size issues. Also, if you're a paid member, it will show the DPI test button. This feature is to determine which DPI value is correct for your laser by choosing a specific area and engrave it in different DPI values. Clicking on the button will open a crop modal. Now, choose the area you want to test. Recommended are areas with a lot of details. In example, an eye. Click on download and wait until the zip file is ready. If you export it, you will see your chosen area in different DPIs. Now just import them, for example into Lightburn and run them, to see which one looks best on your laser or material. Number 7. Restart. The restart button will flush all of your uploaded files from the server. Don't worry, if you didn't, the files will be removed 20 minutes after upload. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like or a comment if it was helpful and you learned something. Have a great day, stay safe, and goodbye.